Then why don't you take it down? From where? Your truck. My truck, my flag. Some people find it offensive. What if I find them offensive? You gotta take them down. It seems to me some things are worth losing your job over, Maggie. Yeah, 4th of July is over. Take your flag down, old man. It's always 4th of July at my house. What do you do with that gun? Don't get out of my yard, you'll find out. And I can identify with Mr. Quinn's position on this matter. Why the hell is everybody so damn worried about losing their jobs and so little worried about losing their freedom? You got to re He saw a little bit there. <laughs> Risk it all for the American flag and his upcoming film to die for in an industry where patriotism seemingly to have taken a back seat to what some call wokeness. For more on this, we'll bring in actor, filmmaker, musician, star of the new movie to die for, that is John Schneider. John, always good to see you, buddy. Thanks so much for coming hey, back. It's, on. Great. it's, it's great to see you. How have you been? I've been busy. I've been, we, the movie came out today. Congrats, um, yeah. Thank you. Tell thank us you. about this film, by the way, This to die for. I know a lot of people are interested. A lot of our viewers are interested. You play a veteran who really stands for patriotism. We saw a little bit there in the trailer. What's it about? Well, we as citizens have an opportunity to also fight for our flag. Uh, and that doesn't mean you have to take up weapons against it, unless, of course, you do have to, in which case you should. I'm for it, rather. But it's a... Uh, we need to speak out. I don't know why conservatives are generally so passive and so timid about voicing how they feel about that flag right there and how they feel about the people who have, have given their lives for it. I was watching your show here. One of the points in this, in this movie is I get arrested for driving my El Camino with the flag too close to the very school, the very building where I as a child learned to say the Pledge of Allegiance in the first place. So we touch on a lot of things here, and it occurs to me that the, that the left really has not been challenged very often or very much creatively. Hmm. Creative people have a tendency to want to be involved with Hollywood. Please, please, Hollywood, let me in. Well, I'm from New York. I'm please, please, Hollywood, let me go. So we made this film in an, in an effort to give people a voice, to engage them in conversation so that they can talk about these things that obviously matter to them so much. They matter to me so much. But I, I don't, it, it, this is not a time for people to be quiet. This is a time for people to openly discuss their patriotism. There is nothing wrong with that. Even though, you know, the not so silent minority will tell you that being a patriot is somehow racist. That's insane. And we call that, we call attention to that in this film. I wanted to point this out. I think it's important to do so. You wrote, directed, starred in this film, and the movie crew consisted of under 10? Is, is, is that correct? How? Yeah. Why, how did you pull this up? Well, my wife and I have a studio in Louisiana, so we do have, we have all the gear, yeah. and we have a place. We shot it at John Schneider Studios. Um, our cinematographer is a Marine who won a, a, uh, an Emmy Award for filming the troops going over the bridge into Fallujah. So uh, uh, our sound man is his son, who plays that young man that you saw in there that, uh, that I yell at. Um, at one point, he says, I have a right to know. And I say, and he, he's uh, received accolades from the NFL for taking a knee at the local high school football game. And he says, I have a right to know. And I say, you don't have a right to know squat. You gave that up as soon as your knee hit the grass. So, I mean, we go, and that's Quentin Aaron, by the way, from the blind side. Um, so it's, a, it's, a, it's an inspired labor of love. I am, I am desperate to get people talking about their patriotism and what freedom means to them and what price freedom comes with before the midterm elections. So when, when the inspiration hit that actually came from a, a, a piece of news that I heard from New Mexico last year, a man went to jail rather than take the flag off of his car. Um, from inception inspiration to today when it came out was a little less than a year. Um, and and uh, I'm very thankful for our 10 folks. I learned a long time when I, I had a house built in California uh, the guy had a crew of three, and I said, I really need this done. And he said, well, John, I can hire 10 people, but it'll take much longer. 
<laughs> so, you know, there is, there is uh, if you got the right 10 people, yeah. you can do anything. Yeah, well, apparently, uh, apparently you, exactly you got it done. It is out. I got to wrap it up real quickly. Okay. How can they stream it? Tell us how they can find this to die for to film. die for movie.com. That's all you need to know. To die for movie.com. Stream it today, watch it, and then watch it again with someone you know will disagree with it. It's important. We have to have these conversations. We can't hide from it anymore.